America. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch-merch.com. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at les.com slash report. The Planet Fitness Black Card is packed with perks, not like other gyms. Hi, can I bring a friend to work out? Oh, Okay. Is my membership good at other locations? Okay. Do you have any other amenities? But at Planet Fitness, the PF Black Card gets you tons of perks. Bring a friend for free anytime. Access to any of our 2,500 plus locations. Relax in the hydro massage and so much more. Join for just $1 down, $24.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends March 15th. See Home Club for details. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Rico here with HIS Auto Care at 70th and Van Dorn, letting you know HIS is a great place to bring your vehicle for service. With superior service, bumper to bumper, we'll treat your vehicle like it's your mother's. It doesn't get any better than that. So call 402-488-8934 and HIS Auto will make you glad you did. 5% off, mention this ad, and for sure your mother will be proud you called. 402 488 8934 HIS Auto Care, 7th and Van Doren. God bless you. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals. That's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Against Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment. And 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for discs golf fitness hockey and more plus they're always buying products bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot play it against sports at 48th and vine your home is your empire protect it with empire fence get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com see an upfront estimate with no hidden fees an empire fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home keep kids and pets in or out of your yard increase security and add value to your property Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate. 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire. 402-560-6197. Are you in the market for a new garage door or need to repair your old one? It's winter time, and that means snow, wind, and freezing temperatures. All things that can cause sticky locks and damage to your garage door. If you're experiencing any issues with your commercial or residential garage door during the winter months, call Cameron Hall and his team at Doors Plus. Don't be trapped outside in the cold because of a poorly maintained garage door. Call Doors Plus today at 402-590-5800 or visit them online at doorsplusllc.com. Doors Plus, garage doors and more. 
Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing a replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Raff. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches college football history we may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight 12 year nfl veteran he's got some speed to go with strength huskers and green bay packers hall of famer shovel pass to green into the vikings territory finally brought down and university of nebraska esports coach amon green look at green all by himself 20 10 touchdown Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Friday. We have Mr. Amon Green back in studio today from yes, Houston. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Spring break indeed. is over. Time to get back to work. It's still going, but I just got a couple things. I got, I got one thing that I got to do today that, I, um, that we planned out. And it's an awesome thing, though. And uh, it's a Lego championships for all the middle schoolers and some of the like early high schoolers here in Nebraska. It's oh. like over 700 kids here from all over the state to compete in STEM um, competitions. So one of them is building Legos. Yeah, I was like, I would have done that. I would have been the the guy. Oh, my nephew, my, Legos. my nephew is a Lego machine. Me too. I'm I'm 47. I am too. <laughs> That's it. They'll give him like like he he was big into the Titanic and they'll. Oh, he does like a the they, like monument stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, where he's big into World War Two. I might mind you, I think my nephew's nine or eight. Yeah, he's or, an old soul then. Oh yeah, very much so. Hey, they go. They had down in Houston there. They have that. Um, oh the, the oh that NASA the playing music. Well, it's NASA, but then there's they have like um, the name of the the military base. Flight flight base whatever okay okay and they okay. have like some of the old veterans that meet there like every wednesday for coffee and my oh. sister my sister will take john andrew to hang out with those guys a nine-year-old yeah awesome talking world hey, he's already these guys he's locked in yeah he's i think he wants to still be an air force pilot and a baseball player for the houston Astros. oh yeah he's locked in big Cal nah, that's, guy. yeah that's good that's beautiful right there so yeah that's what we got going on for myself i say later later today after this yep then yeah. ad He's doing a speaking engagement today. So you say it might pop in, right? Yeah, maybe nine fifteen, possibly. So okay. we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. All right. But yep. Then, oh man, this weekend. Any other plans for your weekend? Or? Uh, no. After that, so after today, I'm gonna take a you know just kind of relax. You know, bring this the next week in real chill, where I kind of basically get ready for uh, next week of so I say next nine weeks of classes. That's what we have left for second rest of spring semester and it starts off we obviously finishing off uh, teaching the class of uh, intro to esports where we get all the, the groups that's going to plan out their events and so like i said they got uh, lincoln high northeast uh, sports kinetic right down on o uh, bay high partnering with them and uh then one of the students then one group is going to do an event for the nebraska esports club so nice. um maybe a fundraiser maybe not but it's whatever they plan it out to be so we partner with all those places i just mentioned and then I'm heading out east to a, a coaching and I say coach, uh, coaches, directors, and I say um, I say faculty um, convention out in Boston. And yeah. uh, where we talk about basically best practices of of coaching, directing uh, esports programs in America. So get to do that. Got some of the big uh, head coaches around. Um, uh, Joey, 
that's at uh, Syracuse. He was at Shenandoah and uh, big Doc Haskell, uh, who's at Boise State and Boise State to to esports is like Bama, Alabama or Georgia right now. Oh, so they're the, they're the big boys. They're the big boys. And nice. they're there to talk business, to talk best practices. This is what I do when I recruit. This is what I do to build my team culture and stuff like that. So I'm excited for those conversations next week. So then from your football world, then you still get a lot, like a lot of calls from like Green Bay and stuff to go do autograph stuff and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I stayed on, I, I st- stayed on their radar, letting them know, even though I'm, I'm out of state now, cause I was the guy, go-to guy there. I was only 12 miles from the stadium. And so now more than like close to a thousand miles away from the stadium. So, but yeah, they'll fly me and they flew me in a, a couple of times in the fall. And so it's going to continue to do that, you know, throughout the years that I'm um, gone away. But because a lot of guys that I, a lot of my teammates from all over the country that you know go to California, Georgia, Texas, wherever, they'll fly in a lot in and out a lot during throughout the year and mainly during the football season, basically with all the games going on. So, nice, nice, yeah. nice. And then I got to ask another question. We talked yeah. about this a couple of weeks ago. I, yeah. You said you might pop in, and maybe say hi to Coach Rule and stuff. Did that ever happen? Is that one of those things where maybe during spring ball, we might see a little Amon Green maybe just hanging out a little bit down there? Or? Yeah, maybe. I actually done it already. I, I ran into him, and he was on daddy duty. He had his daughters. He had to take them to sleep. He took them. They were doing a, the swim team. University swim team was doing a kid's camp. So he had to take – he was in charge of taking his daughters over there. So he had, they were – I saw him. They're cute. And uh, he was like, let's go. All right, Wrangle. He's like, all right, you got to do this. Let's go. You got to get here. We got to be here on this time. I said, oh, yeah, I know, I know that talk. <laughs> <laughs> I know that understanding. So, yeah, I've already popped in. And I want to have a I want, I say now since I'm back and then next week for sure, I'll say I'll see if they're in today. If not Monday, I will check in with them just to I want to talk to them. I got it. I've been thinking about this all I say really since the season ended. It's like I, I want to make sure I. You send them a message, um, the team, have a talk with them before spring ball starts and and how you can use spring ball. You know, I know I talked about spring ball like, man, it's not no big deal. But for some players, it is a big deal. Yep. And for the guys that didn't play a whole lot, this is their time to show what's up, you know, with themselves. Let the coaching staff know, like, who they are because they didn't get a lot of time to prove it. Right. They just had practice. And they didn't start a whole lot. They didn't play. So now take this time as your season. You only have, what, probably like four and a half weeks and then the game, the spring game, to go out there, hopefully, one, be healthy, um, and then come out there and whatever your position is, make sure you you show all the basic fundamentals to then saying, okay, making a statement with your actions instead of your words, making a statement with your actions, showing them by you doing the stuff that they recruited you for or what you are already here for because, you know, Coach Rules only – this is going into year two. So be that player. So then come fall, then it becomes interesting in spring ball or in, uh, in summer ball. And when we're talking about who's going to be the starter and all that, then we got in- interesting competitions at every position. And that was because – and I say that because that was that was my room. That was the running back's room. We, 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 we basically pushed each other. In a, in a way that it wasn't jealousy, it was all love and trying to get each other better, you know. And it wasn't about man, dang, LP's the starter, and so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna help him out, or he's yeah. not, he's not gonna talk to me in the locker room. No, we were still always talking to each other, helping each other out with if it was the plays or if it was just you know with school or just you know having a good time teasing each other. You yeah. know, so it was always that. And then when it got down to football, it was all about motivating each other. You know. I remember a couple of times I'm in a spring, uh, my first summer practice, LP, he's in there. He rips up the defense. He come back on the sideline. He said, all right, what you, what you got in your freshman? Can you go do that? And I'm like, right now, honestly, no. <laughs> he says, he's like, be quiet. Get in there. It's your turn. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. So stuff like that was like motivating because he didn't have to say that to me. He didn't have to find me in, on the sideline and, and, and track me down as a freshman. You know, I'm in, I'm in his incumbent. Yep. But no, he he took me in, and and Clinton did the same thing. Um, every now and then, Damon, you know, he would be a little grouchy, you know. Um, we we talked about that, and <laughs> but uh, and Jay Sims, he was really really cool dude, and always open. Ag, you know, he's always teaching me things, and he's really good at Madden, by the way. So, um, <laughs> but no, you you know, I just so I want to sit down, you know, hopefully Matt is listening. If not, I'll I'll, I'll reach out on Monday. Cause I'm, or I'll try today, but if not Monday, obviously this is spring break, so he's probably off with his family. So when you when you when you go in there, you say you lift in there sometimes. 
is there any interaction with any of the players? Are they do they lift at a different time or um, the current players? Yes, I, I talk uh, was it Corey, uh, head strength coach, decide you know. So I didn't want to step on toes. I don't want to come in there like I own the place and yeah. But I'm say, hey, what is the time? Because I know that when we lifted, there was mostly just athletes in there. Yep. If it wasn't football, it was other sports. But that was it. It wasn't the gen pop or a teacher or faculty. I say maybe every now and then, like a, a coach that coached you was in the locker room with you. Like Coach Sola was always working out when we were in there. But so, yeah, I didn't want to step on the toes. So I asked Corey what the times are. And he said, they're in here from this time to this time. Then you could come after that. I'm like, perfect. So I come in there. When I go in there, usually now I see some guys that are like um, uh, Cam. Cam's in there a lot. Yeah. And then uh, I can't say his name, but he has a show here. He's from Germany. Oh, Nori? Nori. Nori. I didn't want to mess his name up. Nori. Yeah. So, Nori, we've talked. Actually, I got to get on his show. We talked about me coming on his show. So, Nori's been in there. So, a lot of former guys that are pro now or about to go pro, they're in there um, about the same time I am between, like, 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock nice. in the afternoons. And it's good to get in there, see them go, and uh, we could talk, and I could kind of, you know, let them know what they're – I was at that – started that role about 15, 16 years ago, and yeah. actually 30 years ago when you – <laughs> go back from when I retired to then go back to when I got drafted. It's like, wow, it's crazy. Years fly by. Yes, yes, yes. Years, years fly by. So. <laughs> well, all right, well, should we throw it a break here and come back? We can talk a little bit more about the ongoing saga of ne the Nebraska, well, actually, the University of Nebraska. So we'll send it a break right now. This is The Drive, 93.7 The Ticket. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Bagels & Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the salmon panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels & Joe. At Fairway Meat Market, your family. And as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now through March 17th, prepare for St. Patrick's Day with great options like corned beef brisket point cuts for $3.99 per pound and six packs of Guinness for just $4.88 when you buy at least $5.01 in fresh meat. And for ticket listeners only, get USDA Choice Eye of Round Roast for $3.99 per pound. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Shopping Square Center just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can with 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing a replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just the professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. 
This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping them meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending, we're here for you. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. School taught you all about the four seasons, spring, summer, and so on. And then there's the way we really tell what time of year it is in sports seasons. Football season, baseball season, or ugh, off season. But what's the chocolate season? Well, it's now. And now, and now, and always. Whether you're looking for a caffeinated pick-me-up on the way to work, a little snack on the way home, or you need the perfect gift that's sure to be appreciated, it's time for The Chocolate Season. 40th and Old Cheney, or order ahead at thechocolateseason.com. Rico here with HIS Auto Care at 70th and Van Dorn, letting you know HIS is a great place to bring your vehicle for service. With superior service, bumper to bumper, we'll treat your vehicle like it's your mother's. It doesn't get any better than that. So call 402 488-8934, and HIS Auto will make you glad you did. 5% off, mention this ad, and for sure your mother will be proud you called. 402-488-8934, HIS Auto Care, 7th and Van Doren. God bless you. Hi, everyone. Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. The last few years have been wild, but we've been here for you through all the ups and downs, and we'll be here for you when you need us the most. For all your travels and for your day-to-day driving. With winter conditions causing problems all over town, the last thing anyone needs this year is constant car troubles. Let us help you drive in peace and make sure you drive to work and to winter destinations safe. A1 Automotive, Levitt and L Street downtown, always honest answers. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. I'm just going to let everybody know here that this first hour is proudly sponsored by Sandhills Global. Sandhills Global is looking to fill hundreds of openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the Global Headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. Nice, nice. Yesterday, Nebraska Athletic Department. President Chris, interim President Chris Kubarik comes out yesterday and names Dennis LeBlanc, Sweet. interim athletic director for the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Mm. Alman, I know you've had some dealings yeah. with Dennis in your years of intercollegiate sports. What are what are your impressions of Dennis? Um, this is a win. Right now, this is a a step in the right direction. A guy that's been there before I was there. And a guy that just knows the layout of everything, everybody here. He has a connection with all the uh, sports coaches, heads, assistants, everybody. His main job, what he's here to do, he's an academic advisor to all athletics. So that means if you're a player on any team, men's or women's, that if your grades are dropping, he will notify you and he notify the coaching staff. You know, X player, GPA is below a 3 we got to make sure they got what they need. If it's tutors, if it's maybe doesn't have the book or don't have the sil- syllabus, anything like that to help support that athlete to make sure they get back on par to get that 3.0 and up. And so that's his main job. And then obviously advising uh, students on majors once they get to that level of if a student comes, sometimes student athletes don't know what their major is going to be. So they got to do a lot of gen ed stuff, general education classes. Until that time, you know, he's going to say, hey, you know, what are some ideas that you're thinking about once you get, because you want to be declared at least by, I'll say, early as your freshman year, spring semester to then maybe your sophomore year, fall semester. And because if you come in hot, like I did, I came in computer (laughs) science and then I'm switching up to uh, geography because of whole study hall thing. And they have mandatory study hall still then today. And they had it back then. So, but a kid, when he comes in and, you know, they know what they want, they can get right into their major. So that's what the information, him and Keith Zimmer, so a part of his team and kill um, Shell Pepper. She's also there. They're all three are awesome, easy to work with. And so Dennis being in there where he already has conversations 
with all athletics. That means baseball, football, yep. beach volleyball, bowling, co- cross country, golf, gymnastics, tennis, all their track and field, all those sports, soccer, men's and women's, basketball, men's and football. Nobody's a stranger to him. Yep. So when they're sitting down with him, talking now in this position for whatever amount of time he's going to be there, they already know what they're getting. They're getting a yep. solid guy you can trust. He's going to push hard. He And he's a guy that I was just telling you when before we went on air, he has all those tough conversations with the athletes and with the coaches because yep. they got to say, say if you got a starter in any of these uh, sports I just mentioned, they got to sometimes sit that starter down with the head coach or an assistant coach and say, hey, so-and-so is not passing class right now. Yep. So they're ineligible. He has, he's been having those conversations for 40 plus years. Yep. So a guy that can have those conversations, because, you know, when you're the guy or the, or the woman that plays your sport and you can't play, you're ineligible. That's a hard conversation yeah. to tell the head coach. Yep, exactly. You know, I mean, say, for example, if I was that kid and, and coach Osborne, coach Sola is sitting in the room with me and Dennis and Dennis like, Hey coach, um, Amon, he, he's not, he's like at a two five right now. And, he can't play this weekend, you know? <laughs> and so it's like, I knew, but for my coaching staff, they were like, okay, no problem. Because that trust was already built yep. in. They know the people that are working around Dennis to check on everything and make sure all the um, T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted, because they know what we're trying to do, what they're trying to do as a coaching staff to keep us on par as students, not only student athletes, to keep playing here in Nebraska and to be eligible and understand that we got to be accountable and taking care of our classes as long as, as as well as taking care of our bodies, our minds, getting ready for football, baseball, bat, for the sports we play here on yep, campus. Yep. And, you know, I was thinking about this last night. I tend to think a little bit, not a ton, but a mm-hmm. little bit. Okay. But sometimes, I, I don't say, not just Nebraska, but a lot of places, t- sometimes you overthink things. Like you overthink, 100%. like, who's going to be the new president? Who's going to be the new athletic director? Yep. But then you saw the announcement of Dennis, Dennis last night. Yeah. And you saw pretty much, I mean, past, current athletes, coaches, mm-hmm. administration saying, I mean, even past athletic directors saying that this is the right hire for Nebraska. So then I, I start going to myself, maybe, maybe this is like the right hire. Like you said, Dennis is, you know, worked with the coaching staffs. He's worked with the athletes. At the end of the day, you want an athletic director. You don't want the athletic director to be the beacon. You want the athletic director to be the person that helps your coaches, you know, do to do their job the best of their to kind of sit back in the background, let your coaches do their jobs to the best of their ability, let your athletes do your to the best of their ability. Mm-hmm. So my mind, I'm thinking to myself, in a perfect world, why wouldn't it? So Dennis has been there for 40 years. He started out in 1983. Wow. So yeah, 83. Six, seven, five, five. Oh my goodness. He's been there that long. Yeah. I did not know. So he's been with Rosie and TG. And yeah. Irvin Fryer. Wow. His first year was Dean, their last, their last year. Dean Cooler and the Remington. I did not know he had been, honestly. Yeah. I, that's my first, wow. I knew he was here a while. I'm thinking like, okay, he got here like early 90s, late 80s. No, he was here at the early 80s. Wow. Yep. So he's been here for 40 years. So I mm. I think I think Dennis is, I think early 60s, I think is where he sits at. He looks so, good. He looks great. So in my perfect world, you that much. You've, heard a lot of, you've heard a lot of murmurs and stuff about, you know, a lot of people are like, well, John Cook, John Cook should, you know, you be the ethic director. But in my perfect world, if there was a way that you could somehow get Dennis LeBlanc maybe to step and be your athletic director for like maybe the next three, four, five years, mm-hmm. that gives Coach Cook at the volleyball team to go out and do what they need to do over the next three or four years because you know they, they've got a loaded roster for the next three or four or five. 100%. I mean, they're going to have it for a while. 100%. That's what they do. I see where you're going And with then this. maybe you transition to a John Cook, you know, here in like four or five years. And that's that's like not even – I just for me, it just seems like – like I said – People tend to overthink everything and we're trying, but, but when you have somebody that's so, you know, unanimously liked by everybody, Mm -hmm. it's like, maybe that's, that's the way to go. Maybe, maybe the Nebraska, like even like the board of regents and the people like that, that are making the decisions for the president, maybe they're overthinking things a little too much all the time, making things a little too hard. Like I saw, I saw last night at Rob Zadika said something about, well, 
I would be interested in becoming the president. There you and go. I'm, I'm sitting there going, you know, maybe that's maybe that might be, you know, he, he's a guy always well spoken, very well good. educated, solid player, you know, smart, super dude. smart, smart super. It's like it's like maybe you just you just don't overthink everything and just be like, all right, maybe we, we go with this. But I mean, that's my own, my own thoughts, you know, wanting that, wanting that perfect world that set up because I, I'm, I grew up in the, back in the early eighties when I always thought to myself, I always thought growing up, this was the way it was going to be Tom Osborne, Turner Gill, or no Tom Osborne, Frank Solich, Turner Gill. I right. thought that was going to be the lineage of Nebraska. Yeah. And, 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 Kids in Nebraska grew up thinking that way. Well, somewhere along the line, 2003, three, four, or whatever, <laughs> yeah. things get blown out of the water. And it's like A-bomb. since then it feels like we've always tried to overthink everything when when you go back to go back to what works. Exactly. And what you're hitting on is hiring in-house. And any program at any level, when I say any level, I mean from high school on up. Because middle school and middle, elementary Obviously, no, the sports are not as big and not as there's still sports at that and those level. But you talking about you talking about from high school all the way up to the pro level. The best way is to hire is in in house because there is not a whole lot of uh, processing that next person has to do of understanding the culture. They are part of the culture. They've been part of the culture. Yep. He's been a part like Den has been a part of the culture when it got you know from like you said eighty three. So. He knows it by like the back of his hand. And all those other people you mentioned, Zadiska, um, they all know that because they were players. You know, Zadiska was here. Who was the other person you mentioned? Um, um I, oh, I you said th- Bill Cook, the, the volleyball. Oh, coach. yeah, John Cook. John Cook. And, and then I know Scott, Brent, Brennan Stye had got some right. mention. You know, that, yeah, he's here now. Guys like that. You know, it, he helps out with uh with marketing or with some stuff with the team. But yeah, Cook from volleyball as well. Another guy that yeah, it wasn't part of football, but knows the culture that you have to build to be successful. Yep. And that's the that's the one thing that's missing, that's been missing, right? Matt Rule for football has been bring, come in this year and it started that process, and that's what it looks like to me. Yep. I've been to spring ball for last year. Can't wait for spring ball to start this year. Like I said, I want to be a part of it. I'm going to ask him about that. But understanding what that culture looks and feels like, yep. that's what the start of that already is. And so having any of three of those guys or – even then to stay on and take over the reins. Like you said, then they have people they could then look in. You could take that time while he's finishing doing his three to five years as the AD. Then you could look at the next person at all the departments here on campus. Yeah. And any high school that I've been a part of any, or that I, that I say I'm knowledgeable of outside of here. Um, Cause I knew teammates from California that went to Long Beach Poly high um, friends down in new Orleans that went to St. Augustine is that, prominent high schools and the next person on staff that got hired as the head coach was the OC or the DC or the linebackers coach. Yeah. They didn't go out of the program to hire because when you go, when you do that, you're taking a gamble. You're, yeah. you're playing lottery with a whole school athletic department, which is obviously a big deal, especially for us and what happened back in 2003. So, and we saw the damage we're still yep. having, let's say they call a fallout. Yeah. And it's finally getting, you see Coach Rule and his staff cleaning up the fallout now in yep. terms of just the football side of it, in terms of understanding, building that mindset of what you got to do, hold each other accountable as a coaching staff and a player um, roster to go out there and play football that we are going to always play at a higher level. No matter if we're winning the game or losing the game, yep. you're not going to tell because we're going to be giving that 100% effort. And that's what he preaches and watching, uh, like I said, watching him since last year. So that is, like you said, simply – Right there in front of you, yep. boom. And what you started a conversation with, don't overthink it. Yeah, go from yeah. And I, and I, I, you know, like with you talk about Nebraska academics. I mean, everybody knows Nebraska's got has a great academics department. Mm-hmm. You know, by all their all Americans, all their you know, the Cosida Super Six Award and stuff like that. Amazing. They have all this stuff, but at the end of the day, you know, like we, we, you know, we know Dennis, we know Keith, you know, yep. we know those guys down there. But at the end of the day. These are guys that if you ask a lot of people, they don't know the names. They just know Nebraska has great academics. It's people that have have worked hard, checked their egos at the door, yep. and and have wanted the best for the university. So that's why I was I was thinking, I was like, maybe it's this would be something that, you know, if they could work to where Dennis could, you know, come in for four or five years. And I and I know that it's 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 so it's almost so simple that it's almost like 
I feel, I feel like what, you know, back, I look back at, it, at like the early two thousands, you know, like Steve Peterson, it was like all the years leading up to it when you had like the Bob Devaney's. Yeah. Um, I mean, even, even the, the Bill Burns, they weren't, they weren't in the public eye all that much. No, they weren't. I mean, it was, I saw them on my recruiting trip, but they, both of them, and they were like <laughs> behind the scenes doing the work, making sure that the coaches had, you know, what, what, what they was need. needed. And that's their job as a director. Then all of a sudden things get crazy. And then it's like, okay, maybe they're, you know, taking too much of that public eye. So, and I just think Dennis is the type of guy that he's just going to go on there. He's going to work. He's going to, he's going to, I'm sure first on his agenda being the interim athletic director is he's probably going to meet with all the coaches and be like, Hey, what can I do? What can I do for you to make your job better? Yeah. What can, what, what has happened, you know, <clears throat> over the past, you know, just this past week, what can I do, you know, to convince, you know, because one thing that we've sort of forgotten about in all this is there's still students and athletes down there mm -hmm. and I, and they're not deaf. They, they see, yeah. they see what's going on. So I'm sure they're like, Okay, so we're being told that there's no stability. That's why Trev left, or you know. Yeah. So they're they're probably wanting to, wanting some explanation too to be like, yeah. hey, th this isn't it. You know, Nebraska, we're steady. We got things going, and I think Dennis is that guy for the job that he can he can show that you know the stability of the University of Nebraska. Again, he and the, and the players already know him. You know, they've met him day one when they come in as freshmen or they transfer in from another school. They get that introduction. That's after you know they meet. Their coaching staff with Coach Rule and teams, or Amy Williams or Cook, then they go submit Dennis and his team, yeah. and the whole academic advisor center down there in the stadium for the athletes. So it's just from day one they know what the part, what the bar is, and yep. where they got to be, and they get constantly reminded. Which that's what leaders do, that's what coaches do, that's what advisors do. Hey, this is where you got to be um, with your GPA. This is why got where you got to be for classes. You got to be there on time. You can't be late. Things of that you know, nature. And, and like I said, for, <clears throat> so it, it comes in really as like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. We just, we, are, we already know this dude. All right, yeah. cool. And we already know what to expect. And we already know what he's going to say and, and do most of the time because he's been doing it for yeah. my time on campus as a, as, a, as a player or as a coach being on staff. So. And it says, I think it says a lot to, to um, Dennis and Keith and that academics department over the last 40 years with all the changes that have took place. They've always been one of the, they're always, they're always there. They've always exactly. been there. I mean, you look at a lot of the different coaches that have came in, they've wanted their own people. They've made changes, you know, yep. not just to the football department, but like to the weightlifting, the nutrition yeah. and all the other stuff. But the one constant for the last 40 years Academic. has been Dennis and Keith. So I, I, I just think if I'm Nebraska, I just don't overthink things. And, yeah, and I do. If that's if that's a possibility that something where Dennis would want to do something like that, I think you definitely would want to look into that. Yeah, it's just it's funny. I'm thinking about how in sports that happens all the time. The overthinking. Yeah. Um, I, when I was in Wisconsin for all the years I lived there, and uh, one of my coaches, he was assistant quarterback coach for us, uh, Daryl Bevel. Yep. He was a Wisconsin quarterback back in the '90s. Hand the ball off to a uh, good friend, Ron Dane, a whole lot. And I remember. Seeing him after, so he was a head coach. He was the OC for the Seahawks yep. in the Super Bowl where the Seahawks could have had their second Super Bowl in a <laughs> row, but they didn't give Marshawn the damn ball. <laughs> and, it. And, and, yeah, and, I, and I'm, sitting, I'm sitting in the stands in Arizona at that game with a whole, with a whole row of NFL alumni players. And we all just like, what the? Everybody just going off and that play happened, yep. right? The interception and boom. Tom takes the team down, gets it was a field goal range and kicks the winner um, and game over. And so fast forward to then I'm at Nebraska, Wisconsin game the next fall of that year. And Daryl gets fired from Seattle. Yep. And I see him. So they're announcing like former Badgers to the game because we're, we're playing in, in Madison in Camp Randall. So me and my wife are standing, standing on the Husker sidelines. And I was like, Hey, let's go over here because they're about to announce uh, one of my friends that used to coach me at Green Bay. So get to him, you know, fast, fast forward, boom, get all to the introduction. And we're, he got, he's walking off the field. And I said, Bevel, come here. <laughs> he's like, oh, what's up, AG, man? How you doing? I'm like, I'm doing good. First thing, I, first thing, I'm, because I, you know, we, 
I, we we have that we have that right. We built that friendship <laughs> yeah, yeah, where yeah. I got I could pull I could I could push at him right. Yeah. So I'm like, DV, just tell me what was your thought process when you got one of the best running backs in the NFL. You have a good, pretty good quarterback too. Yeah. But you have the best running back in the NFL and the play before he ran through five guys to get a first down. Correct. Why you don't give him the ball the next three plays in a row? Well, I I kind of thought I said, "Bam, stop right there." <laughs> I said, "There you go. You over thought. All you had to do, you had two more downs to go. Yeah. Every down, everybody on the planet would know number 24 is getting the rock. Yep. He just did what he did. And he's going to run through almost anybody to get there. And this is the Super Bowl. This is not just the regular season, first game of the weekend. Yeah. Uh, NFL kickoff. No, this is it. Yep. So this guy, when he gets the ball, he's going to do the same exact thing, run through somebody's chest to win the game for his team. Yep. He's done it before. He'll do it again. You throwing, taking the ball out of his and Russell's hands to yep. then put it in a maybe a wide receiver's if he could have caught it. Yeah, but he didn't because yeah. Butler stepped in and, and picked it off, and then and boom, the rest is. But business. you know, you know what he was thinking. He's like, "Oh, they're going to have ten or eleven up in the box. Right. So it's going and to he be." Said, well, I was thinking, and he overthought I'm like, it. You, I said, "You said it right there. You was thinking. Oh, this was a thinkless job right there. You just had to say, you know what? Whatever run play that could get Marshawn the ball faster in his arms, so he could get running downhill. Yep, that's the play I want to run right now. If it's a trap, it's not an outside. It's something right up in the middle." If not, let him get to there. He did have speed, so he could get to there. So I'm like, ugh. I said, so yeah, this is that time. Don't overthink it. And I said this yesterday. To, you know, take your time. This this was thought out. To have Dennis come in, boom, it's kind of a no-brainer. Again, easy thinking. Yep. If it's not, and, and I think some people kind of fake themselves out. Sometimes it was so easy. It's like, yeah. oh, we need to do this. No, 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 no. No, oh, we good. Yeah, you know, because I, I I was just I was I was just reading you know through you go through Twitter and you you see all the posts and I mean it's just not it's not ten guys from like from one you know sometimes over over Nebraska especially for the football team looking back over like the last thirty years yeah you see differences yeah like I know there's guys that for the Callahan teams that feel like you know maybe they haven't got the respect or whatever that right. and then you see guys from the Riley years you see that but the one unifying factor last night was from every single period it was Dennis LeBlanc great Dennis LeBlanc amazing Dennis LeBlanc it was all it was all good and it was just like maybe Nebraska's overthinking it and that's that and I'm that that's what my what my thought process is right now is it's like if it's if it's something that easy and you, you, it's looking you that straight in the face and it's everything's that positive and he's a person that's always put himself and how do you say that puts him behind to make everybody else look better. Yeah. And I think that's, that's what I want in an athletic director is I want somebody that's going to do everything in his power to make your coaches better, your players better, Man, but he's not going to step up and, you know, beat his it's chest not, and be like, Hey, this was all me. Yeah. It's not him. It's not him. It's not him. That's not yep. Dennis LeBlanc. So yeah. that, so that, from my perspective, if it's something that would play out to where Dennis LeBlanc would become the athletic director permanently, I would have zero problem with that. Yep. All right, All we right. will throw it to break. This is The Drive, 93.7 The Ticket. Attention all Nebraska basketball fans. The NCAA tournament is coming soon, and Nebraska looks to be on its way to their first appearance in 10 years. Better Tree Removal wants to celebrate the occasion and any possible success in the tournament by offering a deal. If you're in need of tree removal on your property, call or text Todd by March 20th. If Nebraska wins the first round game, you'll get 25% off the bid. If they win two, you'll get 50% off. You must contact Todd at 402-780-1377 before March 20th. School taught you all about the four seasons, spring, summer, and so on. And then there's the way we really tell what time of year it is in sports seasons, football season, baseball season, or ugh, off season. But what's the chocolate season? Well, it's now. And now, and now, and always. Whether you're looking for a caffeinated pick-me-up on the way to work, a little snack on the way home, or you need the perfect gift that's sure to be appreciated, it's time for the chocolate season. 40th and Old Cheney, or order ahead at thechocolateseason.com. 
At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just the professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. At Southeast Community College, community is our middle name. Our continuing education classes offer personal interest, traffic safety and licensing, online learning, and adult education classes across Southeast Nebraska or online in your own home. Learn to ride a motorcycle, how to start a small business, how to dance, or take a course to advance in your current career path. See the full schedule of continuing education classes online at southeast.edu slash continuing. SCC, your path to possible. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals. That's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender member FDIC. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth. 93.7 The Ticket. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. The best time to have your air conditioner serviced is before you really need it. Call Bryant now and schedule your spring air conditioning service check. No matter what brand equipment you have, Bryant's trained technicians will thoroughly clean, inspect, and test to make sure it's ready to cool efficiently when hot weather hits. You'll stay cool and comfortable when you need it most. Just call 467-1111 to schedule your air conditioning check. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. We do whatever it takes. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402-590-5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors and more. Perch Merch is your one-stop shop for all your printing and promotional needs in Lincoln, Nebraska. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high-quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch merch merch.com start your sundays off right with jeff and nicole essink on fitness fanatics jeff and nicole discuss health and wellness how to achieve fitness goals and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers it's fitness fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m on sundays on 93.7 the ticket and the ticketfm.com here in the heart of the midwest the call of the wild meets the passion for conservation at nebraska game and parks we're not just preserving nature we are shaping its future Work in our state parks or as a biologist, accountant, conservation officer, or a variety of other roles. And come work where you love to play. You can make a difference for Nebraskans and for our state's wildlife and wild places. Apply today at OutdoorNebraska.gov. Paid for by Nebraska Game and Park. Aired in cooperation with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Friday. Looks like it's pretty sunny outside today, probably about 45 degrees. 
Um, not much of a wind. Um, zero precipitation. Nice. That's what I do. That's Weatherman. Nice. Feels like a golf type of weekend. True. Yeah, some of us have to work this weekend. Right. Oh, no, Rat. Yeah, I know. Is that right? Yep. Where are you at? The Cornhusker Lawn and Leisure Show on okay. 84th and Havelock. That's not too bad. That's, Come out and say hi. That's way out. There. I'll be the tall guy. Way east. The tall guy. Do you do you walk into a place and go, man? I wonder if I'm the if I'm the tallest guy here. Not <laughs> that much. Okay. Not, not much. that much. I don't. I don't before. I don't really notice. The only time where I kind of noticed it a little bit is on Christmas when I go to church and okay. I will look, I look around the church and I'm like, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm the third tallest guy in here. Yeah, the second tallest guy. I can see better than anybody. Yeah, great view, great view. Wow. <laughs> All right, history, history, uh, history. I got this. This one's for you, Nick. You're gonna love this one. Okay. 1912. Ooh, way back. Legendary pitcher Cy Young retires yep. from baseball with a record of 511 Jeez. and 315. Can Over you tell me 123 starts? Wow. Can you tell me 28 starts? How many complete games did Cy Young have oh, in his geez. legendary career? I mean, we're, we're you're probably getting up yeah. there in like the 400s probably. And this is before Tommy John surgery. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Guys guys like that would throw hundreds of pitches. Yeah. And then they would throw on back-to-back nights too. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't coming out. They they they, they weren't they didn't have arm issues. No, I, I mean, so that's that's why I'm like hundreds. All right, AG, do you have a guess? I have. Uh, so he he won, but he played. Well, you say he played almost 800 games. Because I mean, that, yeah. So I mean, he he pitched in, he, in five eleven, records. five eleven, three hundred and fifteen. So he had eight hundred and twenty six twenty six starts. Wow. So complete games, just complete that he games, pitched nine innings. I would say I'll half. give a rough I'll say a hell of a guess of right two fifty. I'm gonna I'm just gonna take the over. The over? Okay. Yeah. Seven hundred and forty nine. Oh my so god. Eight hundred and twenty six. I was now, nowadays close. it's it's if you're down, I mean here's the deal. It's like, and that's what that's that's what I was gonna say is unnamed texture adds in throwing some no decisions in there and maybe he pitched nine hundred games. That's that's what I was gonna get at is like that doesn't include the games that, yeah, he actually did get taken out in the eighth inning, or he did get taken out in the in the sixth, right? When it was a tie ball game, seven hundred and forty nine complete games, complete games. That's I amazing. mean, so, so just so just rough rough math. Back here. in my day, he could, <laughs> yeah, he could say that. You're talking about he in his in his career, he threw at least six thousand seven hundred and forty one innings. Mm. Man, and they didn't even have icy hot back nope. then. Nope, you didn't no. have Shaq telling you to put it on. Nope, man. Nope. In, a, in a commercial. So there you, you go. Didn't have team. Yeah, that was nice. Have, that, that was what's crazy is, is they didn't have Tommy John. Their stamina was wild. They'd wow. go out there and pitch it again later that night. Uh uh uh. And then I got another piece of history. 1988. Ooh. Oh man, the city of St. Louis has had a tough run of it. 1988, the NFL's St. <laughs> Louis Cardinals officially move to Phoenix. And oh. I'll tell you what, St. Louis has had a tough run of NFL football. Yeah. You had the Cardinals, they moved. Then you had the Rams, they, they moved back. back. But on a positive note, I saw that they have the new UFL, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's League, yep, XFL, yep. US Fox yeah, combined. UFL, yep. United the football championship league. game will be in St. Louis this Ooh. year. Ooh. So they, they, they've been since um, they came back. I think it was the Battle Hawks, I believe, last year, and they averaged yeah. like forty or fifty thousand people. So that's where they get their Good where Good they're getting their crowds at. So they will be playing the UFL Championship in St. Louis. So I'm assuming the Rock will probably finally the Rock returns to St. Louis. You gotta know what the Rock. What do you say? Well, I know you know what I'm cooking, or you know what I'm smelling. Oh yeah. Stuff. <laughs> I know I messed that all up. <laughs> I was not a wrestling fan after I found and out. And you smell what the rock yeah, there you go. is cooking. And you smell what he's cooking with the rock. It doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter. I saw this one video of him like giving somebody in the business. And I was like, this is why I know. This is why rock is the rock today. Because this is when he was like bottom, you know. Of the totem pole at W in wrestling, and was made. He he made some remarks. I can't remember who it was, but one of my on my stream when I would stream, they put videos of him just giving. 
he's on the <laughs> mic and just I think it was either um it wasn't Undertaker, it was one of those guys that they would just they would do their little pre match trash talk. Yep. And this was classic. Oh yeah. Like he went in on him like he was it was uh roasting him yeah. the whole time before they, they I don't think they even fought. Yeah. Well when oh, he yeah, would, when impressive. he was first at WWE, he was I mean it, Oh well, he was. Oh, well, he started out as like. Oh, he wasn't the rock. Flex, Flex Cavana was what yeah. it was his first name was. He wasn't the rock. I knew that. And then um, he went to, uh, I forget, went to a team or whatever, and he wasn't really getting as much run as what he wanted. So finally, he just took the mic into his own hands. Vince McMahon's like, "You got this, this much time on the mic." Well, he'd end up going over the time, but it ended up impressing Vince McMahon that he was so good on the mic, and then that was the the beginning of the rock, and now he's the most electrifying. Oh. Right. Hey, <laughs> uh, Ron says to you, Raph, he says 749 question mark. Bo Jackson could have done that. Ain't that right, Raph? Heck yeah, Bo Jackson, <laughs> Kansas City Royals, Hall of oh, Famer. Oh, man. Oh, man. My history. I got a little history in gaming. So March 15th, 1994, Sim City's 3000. If anybody's <laughs> got it, got it into in Sim. I was telling Raph here at break, man, that I went to this uh, EA event. And EA is the developer of Sims now. And I don't probably let me check back then. It probably was them. I'm not sure if it wasn't. But long, long story short of it, it had over 200 people. Yeah, still, it was made by EA then. It's made by EA now. And then get a little help from Microsoft and other companies that produce it on different consoles. But this three, this Game Changer Summit was over 300 content creators. So this is well into Twitch world. And... You wouldn't have, I mean, I'd say two, three hundred, and they all play Sims and other games. But I was just like, the first time I tried to play Sims back in 2000 when I first got to Green Bay, and I'm sitting there playing it. I created my character, I became a mailman, and I was, yeah, you know, I had a dog. I always had pets growing up, so I was like, I'm gonna have a dog and all that. So I'm doing day to day stuff. Then I'm like, the trash can is like giving me a notification. I got to empty out the garbage because it's sprot. So whatever I ate the <laughs> night before is spoiling. You got to get it outside and put it on the curb. But I missed that drop off, you know, because uh, trash kit guys came on Monday and it's Wednesday. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm stopping this. I live this life right now. I'm I, already I, married. I'm already married. I got a dog. <laughs> I don't awesome. need to do this. I'm done with Sims. I'd rather go. That's why I play games where I could go to a, a planet and, and shoot aliens. Yep. I said, this is video. I can't. This is real life. I said, yep. I'm out. Yeah. I said, I'm out. People like that stuff. They do. But, you know, but not this guy. Yeah. I said, okay. I can't. This is the same thing. I don't play in franchise mode on any sports game. Yep. You've already lived it. Football, baseball, MLB, the show, 2K, not going to do it. No franchise. I, negotiating contracts, drafting rookies. No. I, I, I lived that life. T- today's a big day because MLB, the show comes out. Uh-oh. Right. The new 24 comes yeah, out. Yeah, and they today. have the women's mode where you can yep. be a – Yeah, I'm like, yep. can't wait. I'll do that, but I'm not franchising. Yep. Don't ask me to franchise, Nick. I'm going I'm to do Diamond Dynasty. My Diamond Dynasty uh, starts today. I'll give you uh, – can't do it. My so, Diamond Dynasty it. starts today. It's I've got awesome. day in the, in the household of Nick Sainter today. Yeah, I've got it. I got no plans tonight. I'm yeah. on, on my laptop. It's going to be Husker Nebraska basketball. basketball. On the, on Diamond the, on Dynasty. The, on the TV, it's going to be Mace Station. Yeah, PS5. Nice. Yeah. Oh, give me, send me your gamer tag. All right. There so, okay. so I've, got, I've got a funny SimCity story. <laughs> I'm not proud of this is what happened to Uh-oh. me. So when SimCity came out, I kind of got addicted to it. I okay. kind of like building my city and building my airports. Yeah. And, I, I picture islands. you as a big like roller coaster tycoon type of guy. I kind of got I kind of got addicted to it a little bit. Well, the kicker of this is it's funny that this is today of all days. Right. I used to play it in the athletic computer room there and there on West Stadium there. <laughs> and, 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 awesome. And Dennis, Dennis and Keith. Chris, um, if you're going to be in here, um, you can't be playing. <laughs> yes. Like I said, they were both like they were hover over you. And if you weren't on your assignment, that's awesome. You weren't, not not you, proud of what I did. Right. There. If you were right, if you weren't writing a paper, if you weren't looking at oh, your yeah. screen on something and re- relevant to your study, yeah. Oh, they would be like, um, Amon, um, what are, what is that? Where, where are you? At? And I'm like, oh, dang. And it was in a time. <laughs> so I've been there too. I wasn't playing that, but I've been in when, that when, conversation when, when, with e- when email was sort of just start coming yes. out and stuff like that. Um, oh gosh. What? So there used to be a ton of search engines and engines and stuff back yep. in the day. And I remember like being a big Broncos fan, I'd always be sitting in the athletic lab, good looking at the looking at my Denver Broncos newspapers, Denver Post and stuff like that. And all of a sudden you'd see like Keith or Dennis walking, you're like, 
Flip over, flip yep. over. Click, 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 click. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. The thing was for us, for the football team, so all the football freshmen, so myself, Frankie London, Tony Ortiz, Luis Alvarez. Oh, that's a name I've not heard in a Remember long Luis? time. It came from uh, New York, too. Wow. Uh, we got Hizzle Bear says, Sam's Hotel was my favorite of the franchise. Oh, my God. Hey, a hotel series? Yeah, it was So nuts. Before we get to basketball, this right here, everybody's going to love me for this. All the freshmen. And I got introduced to this. I think it was Tony. Like, hey, G, you got to come see this. I'm like, what is this? We had a, we found a website called Faces of Death. Remember? Y'all remember Faces of uh-uh. Death? Raph, you remember Faces Vaguely. So it was basically, it was what it was. It, Faces of Death. So it was oh. video of people. Yes. 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 And I was like, oh, my God. This is a website? Oh, this is real? Yeah. And it was real things. You know, I'm not going to finish, but this let you imagine that with a website called Faces of Death, I'll yeah, that was crazy. It was that, and so that was the early, early internet of where wide web www. Yeah. I got something for us today. Oh, oh, not the most realistic. I mean, it is it's realistic. Was, it actually happened. <laughs> got it. Do, do we know? Do we know what happened on this day in 44 BCE? <laughs> you got me, Nick, <laughs> for sure. Because I I didn't. I would tune out any, 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 any Shakespeare yeah, yeah. lovers in the studio. Ooh, oh, I, any no. Shakespeare lovers I today am, in the I, studio. I am a Shakespeare lover. It is it is the Ides of March. Oh. Julius Caesar was assassinated on this day oh. in 44 wow. BCE. You're right. It is a day known for misfortune and betrayal. Wow. And here we are, the Ides of March. <laughs> yeah. On March 15th. A March upon us. There you go. There's a subtle betrayal <laughs> in the air. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The raven is nevermore. That? A subtle betrayal <laughs> in the air. Wow. That's crazy. The Ides of March. Oh, so I, got, I got the birth- Ides of March day to all who celebrate. I got a birthday also today. <laughs> what? Born in 1972. The head coach for the Pittsburgh football Steelers, Mike Tomlin. Wow. Ooh. I think I think and I think I think Russell Wilson gets in, in introduced today. Inducted into the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's Hall what of I almost said. I almost <laughs> said it. You did. I almost <laughs> said it. But I said introduced. Yeah. You were going there. Because he, he posted a video about him getting like a haircut and all that. Oh, getting ready yeah. for his, his his press conference. Oh, hey, I, his social media is awesome. That's I hope he thing. says I hope he says let's ride or let's No, he gotta do something different. That's yeah. that's it's awesome. Let's drill. Let's that was drill. Denver. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because it's Pittsburgh. Yeah, it's a it's a lunch pail st- a city. Yep, state. Working hard, working hard. I'm interested hard to, to see Trey Bradshaw's opinion of Russell Wilson. Oh, I don't he, know. oh man, he's. Gonna I mean, be, taking he, over, he's taking over, over taking over the helm there. The second greatest quarterback in Steelers history. Jeez, uh, yeah, he's Bradshaw. Gonna, he's gonna rip him Wilson apart. Roethlisberger. Got to get on his level. All right, well, we'll <laughs> throw up the break. This is the drive nine three point seven. The ticket. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of your liberty and pursuit of your justice for those that have been injured. My name is Seth Morris, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our relentless trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just their professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the salmon panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. At Fairway Meat Market, your family. And as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. 
Now through March 17th, prepare for St. Patrick's Day with great options like corned beef brisket point cuts for $3.99 per pound and six packs of Guinness for just $4.88 when you buy at least $5.01 in fresh meat. And for ticket listeners only, get USDA Choice Eye of Round Roast for $3.99 per pound. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Shopping Square Center just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Mosaic is a nonprofit whole person health care organization that embraces God's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives. Mosaic in Southeast Nebraska, serving Lincoln and Beatrice, would like to invite you to their monthly Discover the Possibilities Tour events. Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash Southeast Nebraska. Perch Merch is your one-stop shop for all your printing and promotional needs in Lincoln, Nebraska. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch-merch.com. Forget the lame excuse this year. Your boss already knows why you can't make it to work for those magical two days in mid-March. Join 93.7 The Ticket on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd at Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O for March Mayhem. Come early on Thursday and get a ping pong ball with a lucky team on it and stay all day for prizes throughout and buzzer beater upsets. It's March Mayhem with 93.7 The Ticket for the NCAA Tournament at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O. The best time to have your air conditioner serviced is before you really need it. Call Bryant now and schedule your spring air conditioning service check. No matter what brand equipment you have, Bryant's trained technicians will thoroughly clean, inspect, and test to make sure it's ready to cool efficiently when hot weather hits. You'll stay cool and comfortable when you need it most. Just call 467-1111 to schedule your air conditioning check. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. We do whatever it takes. Happy hour. Gina Mancuso, Prasovsky of the Omaha Supernovas. You've played professionally for a few years. How emotional was that first match? When I graduated the University of Nebraska, I thought that was it. I'll never play in front of my hometown. And going overseas where no one knows you, so you feel that isolation to play in front of my family and friends. It's, it's a dream come true. That first time I got on the court, at the beginning of our season and the crowd erupted. I mean, it took everything in me not to, like, expose my emotion. Weekdays from 1 to 2. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history. 13 and 0. And bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Rath. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green. Into Mike. Vikings territory finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach, Amon Green. Look at Green, all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. Hour two, proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom designs. Visit DoorsPlusLLC.com to learn more. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. There it is. I did that pretty good today. I'm pretty yeah, proud of myself. Well done. Well Baller. done. 
Well, AG, yes, big sir. night tonight. Yes, big night. Is. We have some basketball. Got the men doing their thing. Nebraska versus I or Indiana. 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 I was like the other yeah, sorry, I, in the Big Ten. I, uh, I was so excited about Iowa getting beat yesterday that it was still on my mind. So, oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, oh. but yeah, we got Indiana six seeded against our Huskers. Hmm. Yeah, I think that I think that when you look at um, a couple of the games, right? Like, so we, I mean, they they started at eleven a.m. Right? Okay, mm-hmm. so you've got today. We've got so eleven a.m. Michigan State versus Purdue. Yep, that's an eight seed Spartans against the top seed Purdue Boilermakers. At one thirty, we have Wisconsin versus Northwestern. Five seed Wisconsin, four seed Northwestern. By the way, Wisconsin yesterday. Hit, I think it was like 19, oh, they were on fire. 19 three pointers oh, wow. against uh, against the Maryland Terrapins. Maryland had no shot. Yeah, no wow. shot. Game over. Five thirty. We've got Ohio State versus Illinois. That that might be the game of the day. I hmm. I would say that the game of the day is is game number one. Michigan State Purdue. Michigan State Purdue. Right. Michigan State is throughout this entire season has been given the benefit of the doubt, I think, although yeah. at times they haven't looked the part. Yeah. Um, they've had a couple of quality wins. They've also had a couple of, of disappointing losses. Here they are, Tom Izzo in March. Right? Oh boy. Tom Izzo and his guys in March going up against Purdue, who technically they should be a national championship favorite, and they they probably are. Yeah. However, don't forget what happened last year. They lost to a 16 seed. Correct. So, so it's a different like, mindset. Hey, hey, and, and and I'm I am one that I've learned never to bet against Tom Izzo in March. Not in March because we saw what Michigan State did to two seed Marquette last year yep. in the Big Ten or in the in yep. the NCAA tournament, and and so I think that game is one where Michigan State off of a I think it was a 10, 10 point win over over Minnesota yesterday. Here they come yep. over the over the one seed. I'm not necessarily predicting Michigan State. I just think that one could be closer than people may may realize. Yeah, yeah. You got Tom Izzo, a guy from Iron Mountain, by the way, from the UP. <laughs> there I mean, we I've go. Been to his hometown a few times. Um, being in Wisconsin, but a guy that obviously very familiar with this time of the year. Oh yeah. In terms of so yeah, different team, not the team that he's had in the yeah, past. Certainly. So, so he can, but still, he can get those players in that mindset because yep. he's been there. And he could between watching film and maybe flying a guy in every yeah. now and then because I know yep. coaches get really uh, I say what's the word of savvy at yep. that when they bring in former players that were a part of programs that did it that either yeah. went deep into the um, NCAA basketball tournament or went all the way deep and won it yep. you know where recently right now you got uh, Draymond Green out there and Cali could come in and say hey you know here's a little pep talk or at least yeah. send a video in and do those type of things because really it's all about mentality because yep. records now. You kind of throw out the window. I mean, like you were talking about Purdue, right? Yeah. What happened last year? They're yeah, yeah, they're ranked consistent number one or top five or whatever. Yeah. But it's just it's always a, as we know, we watch it every year. That first round of the NCAA bracket tournament, there is some upsets. Yep. They were one last year. They could probably, you know happen again. But these games don't matter. That's why we play the game. Yeah. To yep. find out what happens. Now, now, the thing about Izzo too is he he's got that he's got that process down like. Sign of a really good coach. He yep. knows how to round his team into yep. form when it when it means the most. I and mean, we've seen it, you know, over the last twenty some years. That gets to March. Watch out, Tom Izzo's back. You know, so I I expect nothing less out of him this year. If if Wisconsin shoots the way they did yesterday against Maryland, they will they will go past Northwestern. They they will. Oh, yeah. If if Wisconsin's a team here that that maybe catches fire at the right time. They could be dangerous, like yeah. we expected. Probably Wisconsin to be up there towards mm-hmm. the the start of the Big Ten tournament or Big Ten conference season. But then that Ohio State Illinois game is interesting, right? Because we've seen it so often where Terrence Shannon Jr. for Illinois, well, he he's capable of going off for thirty consistently, thirty plus consistently. Terrence Shannon Jr. is correct, but Ohio State's now in this weird spot where they've rattled a couple of wins together under under interim head coach Jake Diebler. They're, they've moved on from Chris Holtman. Chris Holtman just got a job at DePaul yesterday. Yep. <laughs> and so Ohio State's in this weird funk where it's, okay, is is, is Debor really uh, trying to make himself a candidate for the permanent job? Mm-hmm. Or is this still the interim buzz where it's, hey, we have new life and new invigorated energy in the locker room. Let's let's shock some people, yep. not only by knocking off seven-seed Iowa yesterday by, by a comfortable margin. Yep. Let's do it against number two. 
Yeah. Let's do it against the second best team in the Big Ten Conference. Right. I think it'd be really interesting to see. Yeah, it's that'd be it's gonna be a fun, a fun day of basketball. And then you and then you finish off the night, eight o'clock tonight, Indiana versus Nebraska. Yeah. And you got you got Nebraska, you know, they always say it's hard to beat a team three times in a calendar year. And Nebraska's, you know, already got two victories already. Um, I I look at this game, I think Nebraska's just just gotta use that fire. I I, I feel like they got snubbed in the in the all the coach of the year oh yeah defense player of the year lack thereof lack and i think that they can use that as fire tonight i think i think nebraska nebraska's my pick i think nebraska can win this tournament well and it starts with a couple of other things happening within the tournament right to feel really good about it one of those would be ohio state uh, against illinois right because here's the thing nebraska has an opportunity to use an advantage that they haven't had in recent years and that's you're the you're the team in this entire tournament that plays last. Yeah, yeah. Y- you have the most rest yep. out of any team in this tournament, it, because even the one seed plays before you, the yep. two seed plays before you, mm. the three, you're the three. It's kind of strange how it's set up that way. Yep. And I know I know the team's not looking ahead, but we can look ahead. Do we know <laughs> we win tonight? What time we play tomorrow? You, uh, you play. It would be. So the, the first game, which would be like the one seed Purdue hypothetically against the four seed Northwestern starts at noon. And so then it would be a, probably like 25 or 30 minutes after that game. Okay. So you're probably playing afternoon tomorrow. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what it says. It's 20, yeah, 25. Yep. But but what I would say is Nebraska is in this really opportunistic position to use rest to their advantage, right? Correct. Like whether whether Nebraska was playing Penn State today or whether they were playing Indiana, they already have a leg up in where many years before they've Nebraska has always been the team that's been a leg down <laughs> yeah. because, because well, usually they're already home. They're already home. Right. <laughs> be, like right. Wednesday night, I, I said this yesterday, Wednesday night, I was like sitting at home, like, dang, I'm watching, here we go. Rutgers, Maryland, and then, and Michigan, Penn state. How, how relieving is it that Nebraska doesn't play tonight? Number one. Yeah. And then realizing, Hey, on Thursday, guess what? Nebraska gets this day off too. They, they've been there for a couple of days now. Yeah. Nebraska men's basketball has. I think they flew out Wednesday. And and here they are. They they have plenty of time to to, to hang out, get acclimated, and, and get ready to roll. Yeah. And they're by the way, they're playing a team that just played last night. Yeah. So they have fresh legs, as we call it, fresh salad out there running around. Yeah. Um, and so those guys got, like I said, acclimated. Hit the was it Mall of America up there? Oh yeah, <laughs> Hit a couple Nickelodeon, shots. Nickelodeon World Mall. Uh, oh my god, they got what, Nickelodeon World. I, I think they have Nickelodeon. They have World. a Legoland have, or they something. Lego Land. Yes, up in there. we were yep. just talking about Legos earlier. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. So uh, Casey maybe got a little Lego addiction. Maybe you know, like myself. You know, he could get over yeah. here, relax his mind, put a little customized put, Legos, put the Eiffel Tower together, and then do uh, Slave One, Boba Fat ship, and it'd be like, all right, now I'm ready to shoot the lights out. Yeah. Well, uh, it's like. <laughs> Here's here's what I'd say about tonight, guys. Like there, there's no excuse not to not to be ready to go. No. no. And the only thing really the only thing that worries me just a little bit is just the layoff of not playing for a little while. You know, sometimes they have yeah. that rust. That would be the only thing. I hopefully think, Nebraska doesn't come out cold. Yeah. Hopefully they come out and you know yeah. get a groove right away, not something where they're trying to shake the rust off. That would be the only thing that would stick out to me. No. There, there's been one case this year where rest did not provide Nebraska. A benefit, and that was prior to Creighton. That was prior to Creighton. They had they had a week off prior week to the Creighton off, okay. match, yep. way back in December. I think this team has done a lot of growing over 100%. over the course of the last couple of months, yep. and and they've had they had a, a long break before Rutgers. They had a yep. full week, I believe, before Rutgers, and they they came out and they they took care of business against the Scarlet Knights. Then they had another full week off between Rutgers and Michigan, yep. and they took care of business on the road against Michigan. And so, then another thing, the crowd. I wonder how well the Nebraska fans have traveled up there. I mean, it's not that it's far a of a drive. It's a Friday, so you still have a chance here. I mean, you're at nine thirty right now. If you're sitting yeah. there listening right now, you could be there. Maybe get done listening to the drive today. You head out. You can be there for game time. So I, I, I'd, I'd be, I guess, surprised a little bit if Nebraska doesn't have some sort of fan edge there tonight. Yeah, yeah. You could uh, plan easy, out easy six and a half hour drive. Yeah, easy. If that, yeah. easy. Hop easy. in the car. Hop in the car. Listen, listen. Nine three points. Take off. You work. get to go right through Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls, yeah, underrated. Depends on where underrated. If you want, you I go to Des Moines and up. Oh, you go to you Des, Des Moines, Moines and up. Yeah, yeah okay. you could go straight from Omaha up yeah. and then over, or Des Moines and up. Yep. Interesting. Right into the downtown. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I like. I I, I'm, I'm a. I'm a fan of Sioux Falls. Oh, forget it. I'm not working. Is. Let's go, Nick. We're oh, going. Okay, we're headed up there. I can't. <laughs> oh, I got to go there. Traveling. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna watch it on the TV. Oh <laughs> yeah. uh, man. Anyway. But uh, but no, like you said, that rest time. You know, Hoiberg has done definitely took the experience from all those old. You, you, like you like you, the games y'all mentioned. The first game taken off a week, didn't play well, but then the next game after that, the Rutgers game, then they showed up, and now you got that. It's always in, as a coach, you keep that in the mind. Hey, oh, yeah. this will happen last week or last time we played with an extended rest time. Yep. And so, coaches, our job is to maximize rest time or even try to get the the most out of the little bit of time we got to go. Maybe it was a, maybe it was, you know it could have been a different situation where the times flip where we don't have a ton of time Correct. to get ready. That means we gotta rest as much as possible, sleep and all that. So then, when you have the um, the the waiting time on your on your as your favorite, then that's even better because then you could probably go over a few more things, tidbits, not overthink it. Like we talking about, yep. it's kind of like the theme of the show today. Same exactly. here. Don't overthink it. Give them rest, and then give them the information and the, and the, get their their minds in the same position as their bodies to get ready out, be out, ready to go out there and be sharp. How, so how about like, this? Jessica on the text line says this is exactly what downtown Scott and I are doing. On our way to the game, listening to yes. you guys. Awesome. How about thanks for that? listening. Thank you. Safe Appreciate travels. you. Yeah, yeah thank, drive safe. Thanks for, are they going all. to Sioux Falls or Des Moines? Yeah, Sioux Falls or Des Moines. Which which path are you guys taking? <laughs> Please <laughs> let us know. Please let us <laughs> we know. We need to know. We got to know. I, I don't mind Sioux Falls as a town. The falls are a cool attraction. If, you, if you're looking for a little walk, mm. you ever been to the falls? No, around? I have not. Uh, no. Right? I've, been, you, yeah. I've been to Niagara Falls. I haven't no, been compar- there Is it comparable? No. It is not comparable. I want to go. I want to compare. That was the first the first thing I went to Buffalo. That was the coach Life told me. I go, he's like, he's like, well, we got practice at like three today. He goes, but you probably want to go to Niagara Falls instead. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but money. Dude. I oh, went wow. to both. I went to both. Jessica's going through Des Moines. So maybe that's go. the better way to go. All right, Des Moines. It's where it's yeah. at. Yeah. I have I haven't made the trip up to Minneapolis in a very long time. I wonder if they, they have like bad. Caitlin Clark Road there yet, or <laughs> they probably do. The cutout was still in high V yesterday when I went in. Oh, ah, so many. There's, there's still the cutout. Yeah, she brought the. the it's going to be interesting next year in WNBA. Uh, yeah. Her, <laughs> her rookie year, I'm, I'm marking everything down that goes on. Whoa. Okay. Maybe, maybe the falls. Maybe Sioux Falls has went downhill. Big Tyson. I went, <laughs> went, went to the falls last year. Wasn't impressed. Smelled and dirty. Uh, I never knew. I never knew Sioux Falls was. That great to begin wow. with. So I didn't know they... Miss, Miss me, Mud Dog said Nick Sioux Falls is not that cool, dude. Calm down. Oh uh, man, man. <laughs> maybe maybe the falls is not I downhill. Didn't know it was a thing. It's like it's, I was it's the home of the Summit Tournament, Summit Basketball Tournament. True, true, true. Oh, barbecue analyst says Sioux Falls isn't bad, but it can't go downhill that much. Maybe that's maybe that's a more yeah. appropriate reaction. There you go. It's fine. Would you take Sioux Falls or Carney? Carney. In a yeah, heartbeat. there we go. Come on. There By the go. way, spring volleyball match going to be going back to Carney. Ooh. There you go. Nick Sainert returns. <laughs> no, Ooh, Nick and Rico go <laughs> together. Double statue unveiling. No, we can't. We can't let Rico know how important or how how important I am in Carney. That's his town. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's Rico's town. Oh Thankfully man, Thankfully he's not listening. He, right. he was. He was. He was. Uh, he was unwilling to believe anything that Raffinati told him. We tried to Carney. tell him, but he's like, "Oh he no, can't. you got to prove it to him." Yep. Yeah, I prove it. Yep, you guys got to go back together. <laughs> no, <Nah>, okay. <laughs> I think I, I don't know if I can return to Carney. No, I think no, I have no. to move on. I could go there. It's a guy that's a Star Wars collector there. I met. Oh, is that so right? He has all the action figures from like when the original uh, Jenner uh, or Kenner. Remember yes. Kenner that, came, that, that that produced the Star Wars action figures. He has them in his house. Why I his house did I open time. up all my toys when I was a kid? Wow. Right. Right. Can you imagine an unopened? Original Nintendo right now, how much I'd go for? It would go for around three to five hundred dollars. Only that? Yeah. Like yeah. still in the package? Well, no, I take that back. Mid condition? Back. Yeah, never mid, no, okay, mid condition, you probably looking at maybe ten grand. Here we go. Maybe ten grand. Would you sell it though? Yes. Wow. You would sell it for ten grand? Ten stacks? Oh yeah. Easy. The only thing I really can't sell is John Elway stuff. And that that's the problem <laughs> is well, you're um, in the wrong neighborhood, right? Yeah, in Nebraska. Well, we don't really have a team here. Yeah, no one wants to be John Elway stuff in Nebraska that. anymore. Yeah, yeah we really don't. But he, he still he still has some pull. But I, I yeah. Oh well, I'll keep it forever. <laughs> what do you do? You know, yeah, they'd be like, yeah, you can keep that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll throw a break. This is the drive and three point seven the ticket. Hey, honey, what do you like better? Whoop, whoop, or yeah. I'm kind of partial to whoop, whoop. Why do you ask? 
I'm just getting ready to enter Cash Blast from the Nebraska Lottery. Oh, yeah. The one where you can win up to $5,000 weekly. Yep. Until April 2nd, just buy a 2x2 two two ticket and enter the voucher number online. I already know what my reaction would be if I won. You do? Yeehaw! Win a win a wow! <laughs> nice. 2x2 two two top prize odds, 1 in 105,000. Join us on Saturday, March 16th for Taylor Swift Night at the Icebox. We'll be jamming to the best hits from Travis Kelsey's girlfriend all night, and you can be part of the fun, too. The first 500 fans in attendance will receive a friendship bracelet, while the first 200 fans will get a star Taylor Swift-themed poster. Are you ready for it? Get your tickets now at LincolnStars.com. Mosaic is a nonprofit whole person healthcare organization that embraces God's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives. Mosaic in Southeast Nebraska, serving Lincoln and Beatrice, would like to invite you to their monthly Discover the Possibilities Tour events. Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash southeast Nebraska. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Forget the lame excuse this year. Your boss already knows why you can't make it to work for those magical two days in mid-March. Join 93.7 The Ticket on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd at Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O for March Mayhem. Come early on Thursday and get a ping pong ball with a lucky team on it. And stay all day for prizes throughout and buzzer beater upsets. It's March Mayhem with 93.7 The Ticket for the NCAA Tournament at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric is the call I make when I have a need for plumbing services. Whether it's for my home or office, if I need a repair to a water heater, softener, or even my garbage disposal, I know I can count on Action to help. In one simple call, their amazing customer service team promptly schedules a service call, often getting to my needs within a day. Action delivers honest quality services we can count on. To learn more, visit actionlincoln.com. A lot of work goes into making Nebraska, Nebraska. Keeping it green. Helping it thrive. Making it fun. Everything that goes into caring for our outdoors, from waters to wildlife, plays a big role in making Nebraska home. Learn how we help conserve our state's natural resources at OutdoorNebraska.org. Paid for by Nebraska Game and Parks. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily, of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Early break with Sip and Jake. Tobinaga was hot for the Huskers. He had 30 points in the ball game. They are, I'm just, you know, they are a lock for the tournament. They are Boom. in. They are a lock. Write it down. Nothing could take away Nebraska Where do you have them at? Oh, well, I, I'm curious if Philatology and Jake are on the same page. I'd say eight to nine seed right now. I don't I think it's a ten. I say an eight. Okay. I say an eight seed right there. now. Eight to nine That's right. I see him as an eight. Early break with Sip and Jake from six to eight every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. Happy hour. Gina Mancuso, Prasovsky of the Omaha Supernovas. You've played professionally for a few years. How emotional was that first match? When I graduated the University of Nebraska, I thought that was it. I'll never play in front of my hometown and going overseas where no one knows you. So you feel that isolation to play in front of my family and friends. It's, it's a dream come true. That first time I got on the court at the beginning of our season and the crowd erupted. I mean, it took everything in me not to like expose my emotion. Weekdays from 1 to 2. Now back to the drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. <laughs> All right, we're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. 
I wonder if you get invited to the Hall of Fame. Uh, probably. I don't know. I wasn't in <laughs> Texas. I was only in Texas for two years, and it was probably it was not a fun two years. But one guy I did hang out with. I know I'm joking. I was more joking with Andre <laughs> about the whole day. He didn't invite me, but but he was a good dude. Like he was one dude that actually came up and talked to me. Yeah. Because everybody else just assumed I was big money guy, and I'm like I was a, probably the best teammate they probably had if they was Kubiak coach for you. Yes. Yeah, that was my problem. <laughs> that okay. was my problem. Yeah. <laughs> that was my problem. When you okay, first and only problem, really. I say not only, but first problem I had when he, he told us that we couldn't lift free weights. Ooh, oh no way. He said we gotta, we cannot use none of the free weights. We gotta use all the machines, dumbbells, and treadmills. Huh? Because his son slipped a disc. Uh, Clint. Yep. Who's a coach now in the NFL? You betcha. When he was playing at Colorado State in spring ball training, he was doing hand cleans. He slipped a disc in his back. Oh. And I'm like, I'm sorry that your son, like, because on the next day, like, he told us this as a team. Yeah. Don't go on, don't, don't use, they put it like, they put like, uh, at like the police scene tape. The around, caution tape. The caution tape around the freeway. Wow. <laughs> and you know what I did? I know I'm not a criminal, but I just walked right over Trust it. it. And I'm like, I've been lifting weights like this since I was. 13 years old uh, and he came up to me in the weight room he said mom you're like one of our leaders you know i need you to <laughs> have my back on this i'm like coach you're basically telling me to stop eating you could have just said that don't eat no more food That's don't eat crazy. no more steak <laughs> don't eat no <laughs> chicken breast don't eat rice and potatoes to build your body up because you're i've been doing this since i was 13 and i can't use free weights to get ready and you just want me to use you want you want it to be club med workout That's i said i can't do it so we butted heads that whole the whole time I was in Houston. Wow, that's said, that's so crazy too. Because you look back, like I flip back, you know, to the late '90s with the Broncos. You had Shannon Sharp, right? Bill Romanowski. Well, he wasn't a head coach then. He was OC. He, he was, was OC, but he was he was around that. All those guys were lifting. I mean, Shannon Sharp lifting, Going up Romanowski up. lifting. Just a little, just a little note, an uh, antidote there. And then think that he, Terrell Davis lift in. And then, yes. you, the and then you, you change that just because of your son slipping a disc. That I was is, like, I know your son. I was like, I'm sorry that your son got hurt, but this is how I'm here right now. Well, and, oh, for, and, and so much of it is, is form. Yeah. Like injuries, injuries come most of the time from bad form. Yeah. You know, and, and, and yeah, we just butted heads from that moment on for, wow, for two years. Crazy. It was rough. But yeah, shout out to my man Andre Johnson. Open up a sports bar down in Houston, Texas. Yeah. I'll just walk in. I'll just walk. I'll just walk. In. I'll, I'll Google it. Be like I, whatever he probably is called something eighty because he was number eighty. So either AJ eighty oh, no. or something like that. So I walk in. I, I don't need an invite. <laughs> I'm not good. He's a, he's a nice dude though. He's an awesome guy. So <sighs> I I, I, I can't I can't name. I don't know I'm I'm trying to figure out um so we got a little, oh whoa hold on so a little bit of breaking news uh -oh. I don't know if you're in the same as I am or... no I I'm not uh -oh. eighty sports bar eighty sports I knew bar. eighty or AJ had to be in there. so this this is a uh, this is crazy so this is um from 2022 and I would imagine that it t I I wouldn't imagine that it took this long so this might be do you know Do you know the rapper Akon? Yeah. Akon. Akon and Andre Johnson opened new steakhouse on Washington Avenue in Houston. Mm, didn't know that. That was that was Wait. back in 2022. Okay, cool. Yeah, Andre's that dude down there. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, that dude I, that's that, yeah, Andre's that dude. He's that dude. He yeah. was a hell so, of a player. That's why he's going into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Great dude. Yeah. Great team player as well. Did his time there at uh, Houston. And, yes. and now he's going to be in a, inducted into Canton. Yeah, nice. are, are you wanting to bring him in, Terrell? Terrell's coming on in. Come on in, Terrell. Hey, Terrell, come on, Farley, Terrell. Black shirt. Come on in. Hey, AG. Hey, what's up, sir? <laughs> Terrell Farley. Hey, <laughs> Go ahead, pull, pull up uh, that microphone. This is um. What we got here? Go ahead and pull up that microphone. Can I open it? Since you guys you been such great employees of the ticket for the last year this and a half, Terrell two Farley years, here. I Thanks, Terrell. Here. I would like to um give you this from Rebecca. I already got one. So you can, you have one already. I, I, got, oh, one. I, got, I, got, I got one a couple weeks ago. You, you want me to give you a, I can give you a name on it because mine's going to say black shirt. Okay. And I'm going to leave my coffee book Ooh, nice. here. Is that, is that ADs? I can give AD his. I got his, I got his coffee yeah, up yeah, in my yeah, car yeah. still. I, see, I, got, I don't know. You, you, you might you might want to steal a one now because uh, yeah. oh, actually, I got to steal one out in my car. Do you follow just Russell Westbrook? I mean, not Westbrook. No. 
What's Russell Wilson. No. Nah. Russell Wilson. Do you, do you do you follow him all the way to no. still his name? No, I follow I follow the Denver Broncos. Football oh, Broncos. Broncos. Who's the quarterback gonna be? For the Broncos? It's gotta be Russell now. Jared right. Stidham. Ooh, my God. Wow. Or Justin Fields. <laughs> See you later on that one. <laughs> yeah. Have fun with yeah. you. Oh, what about, what about Justin, Fields? Uh, Justin, Fields? Justin Fields? I'll take uh, Justin Fields. Justin Fields? He needs he needs if Denver would trade for Justin Fields. Not in Denver. Let's let's talk about that for a moment because he needs better coaching. And he will get it with Tom with Tomlin. Here's what's fascinating. We'll Here's what's fascinating with the uh, Chicago Bears. Did you see what they got Keenan Allen for yesterday? No. A single fourth round pick from San Diego. Peanut butter and Keenan Allen to San Diego from LA. From yeah. LA Chargers. Yeah. Chargers got rid of all. Not their- San Diego. Wow. Yeah. No. That. No. Wow. No. So what is Harbaugh? LA Chargers? Excuse me. I, I'm not. I'm not sure what the Chargers are doing. Well, what's Harbaugh what? doing? I'm. I'm a little. I guess so, gonna, well, he, so so Bosa and and Cleo Mack both restructured their deals so they can 100%, stay together. I would have right. They Boom. restructured their deals yep. so they can stay together. Then you de- you you have allow Austin Eckler to sign with the Commanders. He's gone, right? And now you trade you you released Mike Williams, their yep. other wide receiver, and then you now tra- traded Keenan Allen for a fourth wow. round pick yep. to the Chicago Bears. They're clearing up cap space. That they sounds are. like that's they what are. it sounds but, like to me just, because talent wise he's there. Is this is this now here's a question for you guys. Is this a way to have them have Justin Herbert request a trade? No, I think they've got a high draft oh, choice. Don't forget the, uh, don't forget the 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 high the the big contract that they signed Justin Herbert to. Yeah. Just a couple of years ago, signed Justin Herbert to a large contract deal. Hasn't done, hasn't helped them out. They were in the playoffs a couple of years ago, a mm-hmm. 27 to zero lead at halftime against the Jacksonville Jaguars down in Jacksonville. Haven't done anything since. All right. I'm throwing it out there right now. <laughs> Justin Stidham. Who? who? Stidham. Justin from Georgia. Stidham. Jared Stidham. Jared, Jared, sorry. Jared Stidham. Jared, Jared Stidham. I, Come on. I was thinking Justin. Get him right I, I, no, no. I'm already thinking Justin. I didn't know. I'm already thinking Justin I, Herbert. I know you were thinking about Justin Herbert. I didn't know if you no, meant no, this to say Justin No, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I offering. Know. Stidham? I didn't know, so I didn't correct Broncos that's, first that's round, Broncos first round draft pick and a third round draft pick for Justin Herbert. I, we're, wait, we're waiting for you, Jim I don't Harbaugh. Think, I don't think Jim Harbaugh is that diabolical. Oh, uh, I will take Justin Herbert. Does he want Herbert. J.J. McCarthy? I will take Justin Herbert. I want to say why not. Is this that, quarterback? That's, oh. that's, that's my thing. I mean, that's, that's obvious. what I'm saying. That's is, obvious. Is, is, it, it, would this then allow There's Justin life in Herbert, Denver. That is a, Justin Herbert to, to, to trade? Oh. If Broncos get Justin and then, Herbert, and then the I know. Chargers try Wait. to go after JJ, that's that's low hanging fruit. That's easy, yeah. right? We're getting away. We're getting way ahead of ourselves so here. I'm, gonna, I'm just, I mean, but this is great talk. <laughs> I know. So Herbert to Broncos. Broncos. I just got hired from winning the national title team, yeah. and my college quarterback it is available. yes, that's it's easy. In the first round. That's an, a quarterback and running back. I yeah. him too. I could take Corm maybe in the second or the third. Yep. I will throw in the Broncos no number twelve, Stidham in the third round. So pick. when you talk about not overthinking it. John Humboldt now has to overthink yeah. anything. Yeah. You, you, cause, Whack. cause now, cause that also, here's the deal. It. it also buys you a couple of years if you're Jim Harbaugh. It buys you a couple of years because you have a rookie quarterback and you trade away all your, your veterans. And then, and then give him about two or three years. Shoot. Get Aiden Christian in free agency. Exactly. Well, well, you have, you have, no, no, you're not taking the <laughs> no, Hutchinson from no, the Detroit Lions. That's what I'm so saying. I'm just, I'm saying let's say keep this thing yeah. Don't hey, put that in there. Let's keep this thing Anything wrong, to get Herbert to Denver, I don't care what happens with but the Chargers. Here's what, I, here's what I'm getting at, though, is that he buys, it would then buy Jim Harbaugh a few seasons because you have a rookie quarterback. Yeah. Oh. And you have your a young core offensively you could pitch that as. Yeah. And then you have two players on defense in Khalil Mack and and, and Joey mm-hmm. Bosa. But then also Derwin James. But on see, the Khalil, Khalil's running to the back end of his career, he is. though. True, he true, is. true. But he he's is. still but restructured. He's still deals. dominant. He's still got some deals. moves. He got some moves. A rookie, saying, like young lineman, he can dominate. Like he can he can handle those guys. Because because now <laughs> offensively, you're, if you're Justin <laughs> Herbert. You're looking around going, well, hold on a minute. Keenan Allen's gone. Mike Williams is gone. Austin Eckler's gone. Yeah. And the nucleus of that What's, Charger where offense at, is gone. Right? Yeah. yeah. Where am, who, who, do, who do I have? So they're restructuring. And then the Chiefs last night, they got Hollywood. But, I mean, no surprise because Harbaugh, we already know the type of offense he wants. Yeah. He wants double tight end set. He wants wide receivers downfield they can block. Not saying that Keenan Allen will not block, and I'm pretty sure he did. He's, one of, he's a team player. Yeah. But maybe just a – didn't feel that it was a, a mesh with him and uh, Keenan Allen and had Lillaham let a Pro Bowl receiver go like that. I don't know. I'm I'm keeping him. 
so I'm now, might keep so now here, I mean, let's. Could you let's, imagine Justin Herbert running Sean Payton's offense? No. no. Oh. Oh. Said, you're, you know what you're really. This you're is the greatest day about? ever. You know what you're talking about? Greatness is an interdivision <laughs> trade, and that's not going to happen. Well, Anything's it happens all possible. the time, though. But, but, but not with a not with a quarterback. We're going to have I understand that. Okay, he went to the Vikings. But we're yeah. we're talking about a quarterback that you had hitched your entire franchise to. Well, and, it took and about five years, and him. Brett was a Viking. It did. It did. Yes. <laughs> there so you go. I, I think. I think it's. A, I. I see. I don't see the Broncos necessarily. Why not? I just don't know how much. How much capital do, do the Broncos we, actually have? Ooh, to let's give see up. this over the cap website. First round pick. Stidham. Stidham third does round not pick. move the needle. I'll throw in another third round pick. Two thirds. Stidham and. First Broncos first round pick. I feel like we're playing Monopoly. I'll give you Park Place and Boardwalk <laughs> for St. Charles Avenue. Who else? Ooh. Ooh. I love that comment, Nate. <laughs> that was a great comment. Ooh, do, I, do I throw in Cortland Sutton? Hmm. So so here's this, though, then. from Yeah, and, and Big Rob 402 makes a good point. No Gerald Everett at tight end either. But yeah. here's the thing. So now on the flip side, if you're the Chicago Bears, yeah. you in, in the offseason this year, you have, you have traded for Keenan Allen. Yeah. You signed DeAndre worst not DeAndre Swift. You signed Gerald Everett. You signed Kevin Byard. And you signed Coleman Shelton. Yeah. Who is a set, a center in the in the league. Mm-hmm. Correct. I would be real interested to see what the Bears look like this year. So salary cap for a Bronco. Oh, plenty of room. We got plenty. they have twenty six million dollars. Plenty there. of money. And then they have it says total cap liabilities two hundred and thirty nine million. I'll give That's you a go. change. Good to go. So they do have a little space. Some okay. restructuring. We're good. Yeah. We are all right. And you got to remember, it resets every year. So, okay. So then money. I'll ask you this all question. of a sudden, yeah. I see. wide receiver. Yeah. At wide receiver, though, for the Broncos, if you dealt Cortland Sutton. That's fine. Who's your wide receiver one? KJ Hamler? No, he's gone. Okay. Um, Tim Patrick. Oh, yeah. Because I'm he's sure, been out the last I'm sure Justin Herbert will be like, yeah, ooh, you know what? I ooh. think I can do a lot with Tim Patrick. Marvelous Marvin Mims. Think about the names you're saying. I just need a quarterback. I can. I. I can get quarterback receivers. needs receivers, though, also, right? You have to realize that that the Broncos. You know do that. You should out. know that. Yeah. Shh. Let's you just, should know let's that. Get the quarterback first, and then we'll work from there. And and also, here's the thing: is yeah, gotta, think about what we're all saying. Here's what we're all saying, though, is that we're making it come across like Justin Herbert Ooh. had pieces around him. Why didn't he win? You know who did where he, he had pieces. pieces. You know who did where we signed. Is it a Justin Herbert problem? No. It's a, it's oh, a, okay. No, it's it's a team thing. Okay. So, like, I get I, I, when I hear this question, it yeah. gets answered all the time in all sports, right? Basketball, baseball, football. It's a when you don't have when you have players that are pro bowler players and it ain't clicking. Mm-hmm. That means they haven't got on the same page. Yeah. So that means the team, man. That and then when we say the team, that's the players and the coaches. Yeah. They got to talk. Like, why are we yeah. not doing this? Because we have the talent. What's wrong? We are the one percenters. Yep. Let's go. So conversation, talk, yeah, hard conversations. Part of it could have been the leadership in the in the right. office with yeah. Brandon Staley. Yeah, because yeah, you're right, man. A lot of NFL teams; these are the one percenters at football in the yeah. world. In the world, and you tell me that they can't win. I mean, what was the worst team in the league? What they won five games this year, or somebody? Yeah, exactly. That Dang. means they're not talking. How they're about not having a whole hard conversation? Denver, Marvin Mims, Tim Patrick. Lil Jordan Humphrey. Yeah, because that's good. that moves the needle quite a bit, actually. Yeah, there you go. Justin Herbert to Denver. Make right. it happen. I'm good with that. Uh, I bet you are. Oh, right oh, and then Denver signs um, um, the receiver from the Saints that let go, Michael Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so the Chargers only won five career. games last year. Here we go. The Patriots lost. They were only won four. In the famous words, the, the former camera. quarterback, Russ Wilson, that's right. That's right. Uh, Commanders won four. <laughs> Panthers won two. Arizona Cardinals won five. All right, so there you go. We're throwing it to break. That means they're, drive. they're not on the same seven. page. That ticket. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. 
Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in March. Try their pesto cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. For lunch, try the same in panini with provolone, sesame oil, and tomatoes on a ciabatta roll with bagel chips. Perfect for Lent. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of your liberty and pursuit of your justice for those that have been injured. My name is Seth Morris, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our relentless trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just a professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet, KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. Hey, it's Chad with the Nutrition Authority inviting you to stop in and check out the all-new complete post-workout recovery, CPR. CPR is ideal for anyone who works out or competes and wants to maximize results. CPR can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Stop in today and try a free sample or visit us at mynutritionauthority.com. Shopping for new flooring is different today. Getting your questions answered, making the right selection, getting the best value, and install quickly and professionally. Visit OStreetCarpet.com or shop our store. We'll answer all your questions and help you make the right choice. You'll be enjoying your new floor in just days for less than you'd pay elsewhere. Carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, tile, and area rugs. We've got it all. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This segment of The Drive is proudly sponsored by Florial's Italian Restaurant and Grill. Just south of Lincoln, Southwest High School on 14th and Pine Lake Road, Florial's Italian Restaurant provides a cozy, family-friendly setting where good food and good company come together. All you have to do is visit florialsne.com. Or call 402-423-5576 to make reservations or place takeout orders. And where it is, Bess will be in studio next week sometime. Oh, so yeah. We're going to see Bess. Bess, Bess. Chad's Bess. Yes. Yep. There you go. Uh, guys, the, the coffee cups are sweet. 
Look at that. Look at Terrell, Terrell Parker. Parker. Got he said he got black shirt 43 on <laughs> he wrote, his cup. He wrote on there with a silver <laughs> marker. I love T. Farley. Man, uh, I T. Farley. He's, I, wild. he's my T. Dude. Farley, I was watching him yesterday. I think he's like Benjamin Button. I think he's getting younger. Oh, is that mm-hmm. right? He look, came, look at him. He came, he, in talk, he came in talking about his weight yesterday. He's and like he's 190 like, now. He's like 192. And I'm just like, dang, man, that's nice. That's cool. But, but like, uh, that's pretty cool. I, well, when I saw him last 20s, year, I know. You don't have to worry about yeah, that. I saw him last year. You know, he had a little gray coming on the beard. I was like, ooh, T. Farley's starting to age a little bit. And then. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. I was like, T. Farley's getting man, old. T. Farley, you getting but old. Then, but then yesterday I was looking. I was like, T. Farley looks like if he. I mean, if he's got one more year of eligibility left, I think we give him a call. Why not? Let's do it. One more year. Just put on the pads. There you Come go. On. I bet he can still AG, walk. Ag, could you could you run? Yes. Still. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Give me, give me. I, I tell alumni you. game. Full alumni pads. Alumni game. Give me Ooh. probably a total of about fifteen to twenty plays. I'm okay. good. We're good. I'm good. All right. I'm gonna make it happen. There it is. Yep. Ninety three point seven. The ticket traveling tackle football team. Here not, we go. Not, not responsible for any. Uh, injuries. Oh, I got insurance. Don't worry about yeah. that. Good, good, good. What you got for Raph's good take today? <laughs> All right, everybody. Today's Raph's good take goes out to my friend, Chrissy Thomas. Chrissy, it's her birthday today. She's an amazing mom, amazing wife, amazing counselor. Just awesome. everything's amazing about Chrissy. So, Chrissy, I hope that Nick and the kids treat you well today and you have an amazing day and you are Ralph's good take. There you go. All right. We got about 40, 40 seconds left. Go ahead, AG. Oh, man. Look, uh, have a great rest of Friday. Catch the Husker men's, right? Tonight. Yeah. Yep. 8 p.m. Have 8 a o'clock. safe weekend. I know for all the students on campus, it's the end of spring break. Hopefully, you can finish out the next nine weeks for your for yourself and have a good rest of the year. There it there is. You go. All right. Take us away, Ralph. Perfect. Everyone, be nice to each other, and we will talk to you on Monday. Monday.